gonna recap just a little bit. It's all about balancing our blood sugar and keeping our insulin from responding too much when we do have carbs or fat into our bloodstream. We want to try to keep that insulin response low if possible. But that's anchored our meal with protein. Every time, when you go to get, fix yourself a snack or a meal, first thing you ask yourself, what is my protein? Okay, that can come from cottage cheese, or that can come from resilient, you know. It could be from your dairy, or it could be from your animal fat. We enjoy both carbs and fat, and we don't have to worry about gaining weight if we do one thing. Don't put them together unless we are going to do a crossover. That's when you combine both your fat and your carbs. I forgot to tell you, y'all pull out your quills. Go ahead and pull out your quills. We're going to work on the quills as we go. This looks like this. Go ahead and pull out your quills. And I've got it numbered so I can, y'all, we can pay up today on it. So, can you fuel it? is whenever you combine carbs and fats together. Did everybody have one? I was not in the pen. Okay. A pen? Yeah. Okay. Uh, pieces, 
sprouted bread anymore on the bread aisle. There that, is, but that's not what you that's want. That's not what I want. I want the Ezekiel bread. Ezekiel? Because they just sprout. Ezekiel bread is flourless bread. There's no flour in it. It's just all grains. Okay. Okay, so now just like Amber was talking about, we're going to get to those healthy fats. It's coconut oil, red palm oil, you got your MCT oils, and you got butter and olive oil. Those are your healthy oils of choice. The rest of them just cause trans fat, which is in the process can cause heart problems. Can you, you don't repeat want. those? I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you repeat those? Yeah, it is off.
don't rush into trying to get used to sugar. There's a little bit of a, a flower taste for that. Take your time. As I got in anything really sweet until after I lost all my weight. And I don't know why I didn't. I just know that I did it. And now I come back, I'm kind of glad that I, I did. I waited until after I got all the sugar out of my body so I could appreciate the healthy sugar. Be careful when you
try and see if that could be an issue. Are you deficient in one of these? Or do you have too much in a, an excessive amount in these hormones? It, you know, worthwhile to look it up. At least you're exposed to these two hormones that you've not heard of before. Okay, go ahead and turn over to page 79, chapter 9, Snack and Mom. Who enjoys their snacks? Me. That's my problem. <laughs> I guess I can't have sour cream and onion potato chips with this, can I? I'm glad that's a personal choice, but then it's still not the better personal choice. No. Uh, do we eat grains all day? Yes. No. Should we grains all day? No. 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 At least we're honest. Yes, we eat yeah. grains all day. No, we should not grains all day. Maybe if it's carrots and cucumbers. Yeah. Or well, that's still just you're putting food in your mouth. If you put food in your mouth, that's an insulin response. Yeah. What about celery? It doesn't matter what you put in your mouth. It could be sugar free. It's still an insulin response. So, you're supposed to give yourself three olives, two and a half or three olives without eating. Once you've had a snack or meal. Okay. So, there is smart snacking and then there is mindless snacking because you are what? Stress. Bored. Oh. My mouth is bored and wants to chew. Let's look at a scenario. Gracie Grace wakes up at 7 a.m. and eats a big old cheesy omelet. She's got her coffee, her bulletproof coffee. That's with cream and butter in it. That's her breakfast. Okay, by 8 o'clock, when I was later, she's um, scoffing down two servings and done while she's folding some laundry. Well, come 9 30, she decided to check her email. She's like, Good time to have some of that skinny chocolate and another cup of joe with butter and MCT oil. It's also good. Just not like a perfect pair, right? Later on that morning, Gracie's got to run some errands. She and her toddler, they jump in the vehicle. She grabs some cream cheese. She gives one of her son cheese the other two. All day long, she is grazed. The sad truth is, Grace has never even been able to enjoy a proper snack because she's been grazing all day. Because of her constant snacking, her body never got around to using her own body fat as fuel. So what happened to her waistline? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it could have expanded, but definitely nothing happened. So Ecclesiastes chapter 3 starts with, there's a time for everything, a time to break down, and a time to build up. In other words, there are times for eating and there are times for not eating. God designed this natural thought for us. God didn't design us to just eat whenever we feel like it. Just, that is mine as eating. Just as breathing in and breathing out is a natural occurrence, so is allowing ourselves a chance to eat the, uh, the fuel, this fuel that she's taking in. This allows our body a chance to use our own adipose tissue for uh, fuel, our own fat. The end result is what? What else? Yeah. Body recomposition. So Grace needs to give her body that chance for her body to start reshaping itself. Grazing robs us a chance to enjoy a really good meal or snack and a fired up metabolism. So, what can you do to make sure that your snacks are meaningful and savory? So, turn to page 82. We're going to get to that. I hope you get down there, but Ms. Hardman, will you go to 82 and read the first sentence? Under savory snacks. <laughs> uh, if, if at all possible, sit down to eat your meals and snacks. Hmm. Sit down and eat your meals and snacks. How many of this is so busy? Yeah. Grab that string, uh, string cheese, go out the door with it. We should sit down and enjoy that meal. Let me give you some ways that you can enjoy this meal, okay? And maybe someone will do you. You can make it someone want. We're pl pleasure seeing people, aren't we? We can take a deep breath. We can look at this snack. Put it on a pretty plate, too. Don't just put it on a paper plate. Don't just put it on a neck. Put it on a pretty plate as well. Tune into what you're smelling, the little uh, textures of it. Treat it like it's a gourmet meal. And then appreciate the different flavors that you're smelling and tasting. And if it's some time, take you one of your sippers. I forgot to tell y'all about these snacks. Y'all can do that. 
get to sometimes get you one of these zippers and that this right here is the uh, shrinker. You can try that. This right here is a like I may you need to try that. I will tell you this has some cayenne pepper, so just be prepared for a fight. It's warm. So is there a recipe for that somewhere? Mm -hmm. And that's what you offer. That's what you have today. Okay. That's what I have today in my dog. Uh -oh. So that's what I want to do. I want to, when it's hot, hot, get you nice hot tea of some sort, some type of zipper. Sit down and just have it. It's wintertime. Get you nice hot coffee. And put you some uh, butter and MCT oil in it. The woman is like, I don't know what MCT oil is. I don't. I didn't bring my ingredients, but it is. Full coconut oil. Coconut oil is like coconut oil. It is completely extracted from the coconut and from the red palm coconut. And so it's full coconut oil. Can I buy that at Publix? You can buy that at Walmart, you can buy that at Big Lodge, you can buy that anywhere. It's so ready available now. I wish you would You don't drink coffee? Yeah, I wish you would make a pot. You know, we can do that. We can do that. Want to try the uh, little fruit coffee? Yeah. It's so coffee. good, isn't it, Missy? It's good. Now, Missy says she don't have it one time before it makes her. You can do it in tea also. You can do it in tea also. Did you get the energy? Oh, I need to stop there. We'll do that. 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 We
Can you overdo healthy desserts? Yes. Yes, you can. Believe me, I know. Um, it can be too high in calories. And that's not cause. Even if it's just a fat, you can't burn through all that, that fat. Because fat has more calories than carbs does. Battery's going off. And it makes all your weight off, okay? But it's still a healthy dessert, but you just want to just be careful how much you do take in of those S snacks or um, S desserts, rather. So after meal, you should keep it to an LP, something like a strawberry muffin or a uh, butterfly wings or a caramel blue cheese pudding. Those are all in the cookbook. Okay, those are in the cookbook. You can find those. Those three, those are LP. And as far as snack is whatever you got a taste for. If you if you're going on as a meal or as a snack, whatever you got a taste for. But just make sure if you're going from S to E that you go three hours, okay? We covered the food last week in chapter 10, so we're gonna jump on over to chapter eleven now. Okay, so we know that there's two fuels, we know there's fat and we know there's carbs. In chapter eleven is higher learning. There is three types of egg meals. Did y'all even know that? Three type of egg meal. They are heavy S, deep S, and light S. Okay. I do not have these memorized. I sure don't think y'all have memorized them. I actually went to some heavy mama website to even kind of figure out more about these egg meals. I knew they existed, but I never really checked them out. Okay, so the egg meals consist of high fat, fat from many different sources, and a few carbs. Dairies and nuts. Right? This would include a creamy salad, dressing, nut, nut butter, and avocado. That is your heavy egg. Your deep fat, okay, let me jump back. Also included would be your heavy whipping cream, your cream cheese, your cottage cheese, uh, all cheeses. Heavy egg meals are very enjoyable, but it can be overdone, so do be careful in these heavy egg meals. Now, to your deep egg meal, this is where you're going to be cutting back and things will be won't be easily overdone as much. Um, it's also good for if you ate too many carbs and too many fats and you kind of bumped up the weight a little bit. If you need to go back down, go back into these deep egg meals, okay? And Brianna Thomas has a lot of deep egg meals. You can go and research her. Brianna Thomas. The fats that are in the uh, deep egg meals are butter and coconut oil for the most part, y'all. These are our foundation fats as well. Two of them, anyway. And that's because our body very easily burns these two fats, as well as the MCT oil, the coconut oil, uh, red palm oil. So go to Green Out of Commons for more meal, deep egg meals and fat. Number seven on your quiz. Deep S is that answer. They are slim and can be used as a cheat meal to help reduce our insulin levels from excess sugar and starches. Seven is deep S. Okay, you like this meal. This is pretty much an LP. Remember your LPs are your fats are five and lower and your carbs are ten and lower. With a deep uh, a light S, your carbs are gonna remain the same. But you can have a few extra fats in this light egg. So I was looking it up, like I said, I'm not real familiar with these three levels. And they suggest anywhere between 10 to 12 grams of fat with your light egg meal. So carbs 10 and your fats between 10 and 12, okay? So what what are three of the five, three types of um egg meal? They're heavy S, and this is number six. Heavy S, deep S, and light S. That is number six on your quiz. Uh, the reason I had y'all bring back the half pan cheese tonight is because I want to go over it. So we fix and talk about a little bit of what you can have with some of the things that we can't have, okay? So we know that too many mama focus on can't have. We never been can have, just the options are limitless. But we know there's a few cannot have, and we're going to go into that. So turn to page 95, chapter 12. So what is on that list? We're going to go through what we can have. Have highly caffeinated energy, energy drink. Okay. 
Sweet tea, gone. Honey sweet tea, gone. Fruit juice, diet soda, only. What? Diet soda? Diet soda because it's got, I know, I know, but it's got sweeteners in it that can cause us to spike our insulin, our blood sugar, milk, sports drinks, health food store drinks, those sticky diamond waters, and even that naturally sweetened or tag organic could all be unhealthy. So you just gotta make sure that you stay away from it. And I'm gonna go through the list of what these sweeteners are not. So what's wrong with these drinks then? It's vitamin water, it's health food water. So I guess some pills in there too. We know they're gonna be the death of our waistline. They are, they have the sweeteners in it that's gonna cause our blood sugar to spike. That's what it is. Do you know propel has sweetened or not? Mm -hmm. It does. The propel. What is it? Propel. Propel. I don't know what all it has in it. I don't buy it myself. Do you? We, we're going to go through what sweeteners you can't have. Okay. So you have to look at it. But we're going to name off those sweeteners. Okay. But let me go ahead and tell you that the beverages like I've got fixed over here, they're to keep the hydrated. They're to boost our metabolism. And also, it's just fun. Have something different to drink besides just pure water, although that's still necessary. The good girl moonshine that I made last week, how did y'all enjoy that? The good girl moonshine that had apple cider vinegar and the ginger in it. That's good that, you know, you know, apple cider vinegar, it helps to uh, stabilize your blood pressure, stabilize your blood sugar, so it's supposed to be good for digestion. Ginger is, has a lot of good insulin inflammation. So, and then the strength of your diet, it is, um, it treats your fat cells because it's got that high pepper in it. So, y'all need to try it, okay? And it also boosts your metabolism, not to mention that it has a thermogenic effect in you from that high pepper. Also, this one minute, are you a uh, culinary person? Okay, mm -hmm. take about a tablespoon of MCT oil or coconut oil because it is thermogenic. But you, I, and I think I felt to mention it last week, but you really need to take that when you have an ethanol or S snack. Tag it along with the ethanol because coconut oil is your healthy fats. And a tablespoon has got, I don't know, 10 grams of fat in it probably, maybe a little more than that. There's something called the Cine Canary, and it helps with adrenal fatigue. I don't know how many of y'all face that, but that helps with the adrenal fatigue. Um, and it recharges your battery, detoxes your body, it helps to beautify the skin. Just got a lot of good things that I see in there, but you got turmeric in it. So these are all basic foods there to keep us hydrated and bring more flavor for our life. Is all that in our cookbook? It is. It, it's not in that book, it's going to be in your cookbook. It's going to be in the cookbook. But yeah, you should be able to look at them online as well. Go to some of them on the recipe side and see if it's not online. Yeah. Um, what is the drink that we do drink? Coffee. And you can add heavy whipping cream to try to get rid of that cream because we don't need that cream because it's got ingredients in it that is not ideal to drink that coffee. So heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. Black tea, woolong tea, that came in the shrinker that I made. Yep, in my shrinker tonight. Uh, green tea is good for you. And peppermint tea, so all these different flavor teas are good for you. So they're going they're to be caffeine free for the most part, I think, as well. So these wonderful teas can aid in our weight loss, calm our nerves, and also have our anti aging properties to it. So we all want that, don't we? So what was the name of the first um, simpler? Did y'all catch that? The Good Girl Moonshine. That would be the one the first. If it was the very first, Good Girl Moonshine. Or you can abbreviate GGMF, Good Girl Moonshine. That's the one that's got the apple cider vinegar, it's got the ginger in it. You can add some sweetener to it. And then if you want to brew some tea to flavor it up, have a tea flavor, you can do that as well. So what are we going to be doing? We're going to be drinking ourselves shrimp. Okay, turn to page 103, chapter 13, Sweet Mom. This is where we can get into the sugars that we 
don't need in our body. 102, page 102. We are going to baby step our way to enjoy on plant sweetener. Don't understand that. Baby step. Don't go in it full blown. I think that's the reason why I didn't do it full blown because I hadn't acquired that taste of baby sweeteners. It took a little while. So ease your way into it at your own pace, okay? My favorite is pure Melissa Life Squirt. I love pure. P Y U R E. P Y U R E. It is really sweetener. P Y U R E. What's the one? Swerve, S E R V E. Oh, S W. Yes, so, this is the list of the sweeteners that you need to stay off of. It is aspartame, dextrose, fructose, sucralose. Is that in the book? It is in the book. Okay. Oh, it will be under that. chapter. It's on the chapter. It's under chapter. And you've got maltodextrin, saccharin, and even a gag. These you need to try to stay away from because it's going to spike your blood sugar. But here are the plant approved ones. Stevia, ethertol, xylitol, monk fruit, and chicory root. Chicory has a little bit of fiber in it too. So when you go and find something with chicory root in it, you will find a little bit of fiber attached to that sweetener. These sweeteners have only a few calories, no carbs, no fat, and this makes them uh, plant approved sweeteners. They are gentle to our blood sugar. Each of these sweeteners, uh, sweet sweeteners, because they can cause you some tummy issues. It can cause diarrhea, bloating, uh, gas. The only problem my son that I have, I choose. Yeah. If I if I drink too much or eat too much of it. Mm -hmm. Of these sweeteners, if I contain too much of the stevia, either call, call, I choose. So the is a little better. Huh. Raw honey is not Raw honey, I'm going to get to that. We can have it, but I'm going to get to it just in a second. Good job. As I mentioned to you, you just have time to adjust to the taste. They're definitely a part of taste. But I will tell you, and it's uh, answer question 10, Xylitol. Melissa brought it up last week. Y'all remember what Melissa mentioned about the Xylitol? It can be harmful to dogs. It can even kill them. In some circumstances. Is that what's going Yes. Yeah. Xylitol. Xylitol. So when you are baking or mixing anything with xylitol, you want to make sure you clean up after yourself really well because most of these sweeteners are kind of powdery and it'd be easy to get on your countertop, on the floors. So just be extra careful. If y'all use xylitol, I do not use xylitol. I use ethertol. And that's what's in my pure. That's what's in my pure is ethertol. So Walmart here is pure trivia, trivia, squirt, monk fruit. So they, Walmart carries all of this. True Happy Mama Store also has their own uh, sweetener. Then it's pure stevia, is xylitol, and ethertol. They also have blends where they blend uh, ethertol and stevia together and it's called super sweet blend. And then they mix together xylitol, ethertol, and stevia, and that's their gentle. So if you want to try out some of these sweeteners from online, you can. You just know there is a $10 fee for shipping in that one. That's the reason I love the store for $5 from that long. They have that shipping thing. You I said no to Zylitol, right? Ma'am? You said no to Zylitol. You can have Zylitol. Just be careful with your dog, your, your fur baby. I don't have one. If you don't have a fur baby, you're fine to eat it. But but you will want to be careful though. If you used it and baked with it, it took it to church. You know, you might want to be careful about that. Just things that you would just want to think about. Um, I, I do want to pass along to you though, because Stevia has become so ready available to try to make it cheaper. They're adding cheap grades to it now. I saw it in my pure the other day, but it wasn't even cheaper. It cost more. They added stuff to it. So be careful that you're feed your blends or your pure blend do not have those sugars I just named off to you. And remember they're not planted food because they're not gentle on our blood sugar. Okay? Local raw honey amber is approved 
if you are close to gold weight, you can have up to one teaspoon a day of holistic reasons. This is a caution to beware of store-bought honey, though, because it has a much higher glycemic index to it. So get raw. I think that's um, uh, Bill, and, Bill and Marie's famous. Is, they're uh, local honeybee farmers, Bill and Marie. Um, they were at the they used to sell it at farm stand across the tracks. Um, well, on this side of the tracks. But uh, now they sell it at Piggly Wiggly. Um, but Bill and Marie's number is on the bottle. So you can call okay. them and they'll meet you in town to buy it. It's $11 a pint. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'll take money for allergies. Yeah, so yeah, absolutely. So it is approved, but make sure it's locally grown, okay? Also, a myth, and this is number 11, that stevia causes infertility miscarriages, that is been debunked. It does not cause miscarriages or um, infertility. There's been publications showing that it's actually the high A1C levels in the first trimester that has a primary role in the occurrence of early miscarriages. And women who are instant resistant or four to, four to five times more likely to have a miscarriage. So I just want to kind of just throw that out there for y'all. Y'all know if anybody is trying to get pregnant and heard that stevia is not good for them, they can have stevia. Alright, can y'all name three of the five fruit? Stevia, chicory root, and all y'all gotta do is on number nine just write down three of the five fruit. So stevia. Stevia. Ethertol, chicory root, and mumfrey. Mumfrey, I'm not sure if it has any, huh? Mumfrey is mainly. Mum, not mum. Is it mum or mum? Mum. It is mum. Yeah. Does it have the um, fiber in it too? Okay. So, chicory root and mum fiber also has a little bit of fiber in it. M-O-N-K? M-O-N-K. I'm like, did I write it down or not? But I did. It's really sweet too. It's, it's, it's very sweet. Not for this. They feel pure, my favorite, my go to sweetener. I just love it. I, I know we're going through this really fast, so we're going to keep on going through it really fast. Y'all turn to page 116, chapter 14. This is uh, your question 12. Trim Healthy Mama is for the whole family. Yeah, we can all gather around the table and we can enjoy breakfast together, we can enjoy lunch and supper together. It is for everybody. You do not have Two separate meals. I was fortunate enough that all my boys did eat it. Of course, I ate a lot of Thanksgiving meals, Christmas meals, but, but yeah, I was able to fix for them as, as well. So think about oatmeal. That would be a great breakfast. You add butter and cream, you got a crossover. It's going to be good for your family. You just keep it oatmeal with a teaspoon of butter and maybe a little bit of uh, unsweetened almond milk for your meal. If you like to put milk in your oatmeal. And you're good, and if you add butter and cream for your family, that's a nice crossover. It's still a very healthy meal for them. What about supper? You can do an S meal, okay? You could do a meatloaf. You could do a side salad, and you can do some of those non starchy veggies. That's good for you. But say you want to make it more family friendly for your husband and children, you can add a quarter cup of rice, or as much as they want, actually. Um, you can add a roll for them, and there you go. You can cook two meals. You just add an extra side or two for your family. But now, if you did want a quarter cup of rice or a quarter cup of potatoes, what is that called? Y'all know what that meal is called? S helper. If you add that little extra carb, that's called an S helper. And that's how we're keeping it same. That's how we're keeping it simple. Chapter 15, Eating Out. Any questions? Am I good? Alright. So it is so easy to eat out to make up mom. Like I literally, when I found to make up mom and that mom said all she did to lose weight was, was cook, I was like, I cook two meals. Surely I can do that. And I did. I still pretty much just cook two meals. Money is easy. Well, it's just something you can do to make mom do it on Monday, but I ain't got to keep it But I still eat out. 
and I still cook and I did it really quite well. I'm gonna give y'all some ways that I eat out, the food that I eat out. Because so like when I go to the Texas Roadhouse, this is what I do. I either get a steak or a chicken, okay? That can go for either S or E, but I'm gonna go for an S because I want my salad, I want those peanuts, and I want my vegetables. Because peanuts is gonna go in your S now. So that's it's got higher fat. But saying that, I want to make that steak with that chicken and eat meal. What am I going to do? I have a sweet potato. If it's a large potato, I just need to eat half. If it's a small potato, I can have a whole thing. So steak, mash um, the sweet potato, a teaspoon of butter, but make sure it's whole butter. Their best butter you can get from them. Because if you go to get that cinnamon butter, make sure it's really good. It sure is good. <laughs> just so you call it a cross <laughs> over there.
what your ethnos and your females are, and you don't have to worry about counting, you don't have to worry about the ones that you don't want to. That, that's the little... So are the chicken, black and chicken tenders a no-no on this? No, chicken tenders would be fine. The black ones? Yeah, the black ones. But then I have to do them in the country. Well, just for me, because it's like a lot of crossover, because it's spike your blood sugar. Okay. Uh, then Panera Bread, they say there's a hidden uh, power menu with lots of S&Es if you go Panera Bread. I've never been there, so, but there are options there as well. Maybe they were front, I have Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. What, what fajitas. 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 Yeah. Fajitas. Because you can have the onion, the bell pepper, whatever your meat is. Just, I try to stick with like 12 to 13 chips. <laughs> I used to have my chips when I was a little And skip the chips. That's a good idea. Okay, that's a good idea. That's, that's a good idea. idea. So, because I was going to have a cheese dip. Yeah. <laughs> but they also have a cheese dip. I did it in the next one. So that's why you go to get the cheese dip. That's, well, for me, the chips. <laughs> but also, I do the chili granita with a green salad and 12 of those chips. Chili granita? That's the bell pepper with the meat and cheese on top. So that's your not egg meal with your salad, a little green salad, a green dressing. And leave off the rice and the beans. Yeah. You get that at the Yeah. I get that at the chili relina. Every week you know. <laughs> Every week you know. 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 But since that gone up, we're not going as often. Well, that's how we go on week and I give you that two for one meal. Oh, we yes. yes. It's A through J. I didn't know that. Yeah. Like I said, we got to do it. We're going to find those deals. Oh, we just need to go ahead and apologize <laughs> to our that when you get a gift tomorrow from the Women of Mission, yes. we're sorry. <laughs> we're sorry. We're sorry. Yes, Candy. We will be nice if we will die that out. I'm trying to give myself that 
food freedom. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we are moving on. And at any time y'all need to leave, y'all go right ahead, okay? I don't want to hold y'all up, but I do want to go through this because it's so much good stuff in here. Okay, and a pizza hut. I got to throw this in. A pizza hut, just take your toppings off your pizza, throw it on a nice green salad. There you go. There you go. Cheese, That's what I have cheese. Can we have cheese? Yeah. 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 Cheese is the of your egg though. Only if you just do a scan of the mouth in your email. But cheese is an egg. Now you're going to get a little bit of sugar in the tomato sauce. Yeah. So keep that in mind. So if you eat. I wonder which would be better, like their marinara sauce or the tomato sauce. It's, it's not going to matter. It's all that tip for that, isn't it? Yeah. Just that sauce, and you just all wash your sugar. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, if you know that's where you're going, then you can make up for it the next day. Somewhere else. Yes. And that's the great thing. You can mix and match your opportunities, and if you know you've got stuff you've got to be at, then you can be a good girl through the rest of the week right. or the beginning of the week to fit right. that to fit that in, and it not kill everything. So, I feel like. For me, the easiest option for us to order and out is at mail, but now you can find an email. That is number 13. Which meal would be the easiest to order when eating out is at mail. You've got more available, but emails are possible. Okay. That sound good or do you get a whole house? Whole house? <laughs> whole house, I get eggs and sausage or bacon. I don't need eggs. Okay, so grits would probably be bad because that's the grind. Grits is the grind, but it has higher glycine and in it. So you would want to do that quarter of a cup. You've got to have grits. Get that quarter of a cup. And just see how it affects your blood sugar. If you want to check your blood sugar, then check how it affects your blood sugar. Okay? Because remember, it is all about keeping our blood sugar low and not spiking our hands. So is eating toast with your eggs then vanilla sausage? Or like is that mixing your oats? Like oatmeal, is that what you're saying? No, toast. 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 Yes. Unless um, you do like one toast, maybe. Remember, you can have an egg helper and you can have up to a quarter of a cup, one toast. Just try to make it a little bit healthier toast. If you did the Ezekiel bread, you could definitely have one slice of toast. The other ones are just going to be personal choices. And I would just do one slice if you had an egg tail. They're both saying connected sausage. Connected sausage? Yeah. Connected sausage and eggs. Yeah. That's your egg tail. That's the Ezekiel bread. Uh, no, I can't have my texture. Oh, oh, But that's where I mean, if you can think of a, a meat on there that's reasonably healthy and just give you some vegetable that doesn't have very many carbs in it, that's where you stick a salad maybe when you go to whole house. But for me, when I go to whole house, it's going to be eggs and sausage. Um, Omelette. Um, so, I like eggs. So, all natural, because uh, Connecticut's got that all natural that doesn't have as so much grease in it. So, does that mean it's a healthier since it's not? All natural. You still got to look at your fat and your carb content. And it may be a personal choice for you. Okay. You're pretty much your maintenance mode, so you could probably handle a little extra carbs and fat than one meal to cross over. So, yeah. That, that's why I look at a lot of things that are kind of personal choices for me. All of the scissors say, you know, that's all the plan for me. It's my personal choice. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. How do you determine how much weight you need to lose? I just chose the number. You just chose the number? I did. I just chose the number. And I would like to go lower, but I have to work a whole lot harder. And I'm happy where I'm at for the most part. I feel good. Because you look great. So you, can, you pick your number and if it's not really going to be your clothes size, then you just have to keep on dropping until you get that clothes size. Like I would love to be a size 6, but I've been wanting to be a size 6 for 7 years too. I haven't made it. I, 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 I was a size 6 when I married, but that's not happening. I, 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 I was 
space moment that your body will change so that the scale will stay the same for a while. Like, I was at 220 for months. But my your body uh, shift. My body shift was changing, yeah. So my I was working muscle and I was gaining fat. So my clothes, you know, the, the excess, the double excess started to get looser and you know fall off with just my phone in my pocket. Mm -hmm. like, even though I was still the same weight. And then eventually I had to, you know, buy new clothes. Yeah. Um, because it didn't fit. Like I wear mediums and smalls that I went from a I was a 42, uh, now I'm a 28 choice. Wow. Yeah, I lost my mind. Y'all, the next question is 14. On your quiz, we're going to be talking about cheating or not cheating. Chapter 14. I said we were moving to chapter 16, but your quiz is number 14. Let's talk about all or otherwise known as cheating. So what did I call off-plan? Uh, call cheating? Off-plan. To cheat or not to cheat? That is the question. Yes. Okay. How regularly can you eat on-plan treats and help you resist the temptations of sugary processed food? Do y'all think eating on-plan treats is going to help you resist the sugary laden food? It would. Because Trim Happy Mama provides these sweeteners, we can eat these sweet and not feel the problem. But I do love my desserts. Do I eat them every meal? No. Do I eat them every day? No, not usually. And I don't feel guilty though when I do have something. Like this brownie. I ate one last night, but I made a big old one for my mm -hmm. So I don't feel guilty when I indulge in on plan rich desserts. But if I do indulge into all pleasure, I do feel really guilty about it. I try not to, because I know I'm making a personal choice, but still in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh my God, I could have ate a, you know, too many mama dessert and wouldn't be worried about this blood sugar. I eat all plans on the holidays. Y'all heard me say that. Birthdays and anniversaries, and I'm tempted to eat sweets, but only on occasion, okay? That's like Sunday. Ate that blueberry crunch, but my husband wouldn't fix it. So guess what I did? You ate some. I ate it because he put it for me. He said you hardly ever eat anything like this. He said it just looked too good not to eat. And it was. It was so good. But it was so sweet. I, how many times have I said there's nothing too sweet for me? Well, I just thought it was like, that's too sweet. Yeah. That blueberry crunch. It was so sweet, but it was so good. So yeah, you still can have it. Just remember. The crash that may come like yeah. that. Can I ask you something that, before I forget? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to all of tomorrow. What's my Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Eat like a crash. I will probably eat a chip for like 14 times. <laughs> That's a lot of layer. But, so, just salad. I don't want salad. Oh, no. You know what I mean? Oh, they have fruit cups. You want to eat the chicken sandwich? Yeah. Go to Walmart before you head over there. Go buy those buns. <laughs> I was like, that's not my heart. I'm going to chew on them. You should eat them just to know. I'm going to eat them just to know. You like that? Yeah. They have good nuggets. Yeah. yeah. I like them. You don't like them? Uh, that you want to eat. You want to eat nine chicken, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> that's the one that you want to eat. That's the one. That's the one that you What did you call it when you come to eat? What? All plans. Oh, it's all plans. <laughs> all plans. <laughs> Eat every four to five hours so you can go up to five. Give that fuel time to get out of the system before you put something else in your body. You might pick up a little bit of weight and then you may not. I might be even though this food of fruit salad. I don't care about the French fries. I'm a French fries. There's not. There's not a little salad. There's not a little salad. There's not a little salad. Yes. Because we're going to keep you fruits, the blueberry, the raspberry, Strawberries and blackberries out of the cup. If you eat blueberries, you better not have the cup. Blueberries are not washed. Yeah. Oh, uh, actually. That is true. Yeah. Blueberries are not washed. Blueberries are not washed. Apples. Apples have the red turnips. All right. Those are all for you eating. Why are my favorite dinosaurs? I know. Mine are too. You can have them. Maybe you can make yourself eat that grilled chicken. That would be a plus for you. My grandson is. 
piece of butter cheese here. Eat it. Or this, or just eat it, enjoy it, and go back on plan as soon as you can. Yeah. So it's like at home. No deal. Yeah, I don't think it's like a it on. Yeah, yeah. So you've got all of our kids or just Scott's kids? All four of them. We're going to cover the affordable superfoods. Chapter 17. They are eggs, salmon, berries, leafy greens, okra, fermented foods, flax seeds, and apple pie remember. These are your affordable superfoods. They are everyday, budget, friendly food. We're in chapter 17. <laughs> These friendly foods have become front and center, and the truth be told, them have even taken center stage. Okay, the sisters really put okra okay. in the limelight a few years ago. Y'all put okra in my shakes, I put okra in my brownies. Mm -hmm. And really nothing like that. Can you make this now? What kind of can of tomatoes? Can, yeah, 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 can you make this? You know, the okra and tomatoes are kind of in the chicken. Can I eat this? Yeah, with an email. Just check your car count. I really don't know how much your car count will be. Uh, and if you have, if you eat it with a, a high fat, just make sure it's a little bit on the leaner fat. Because I really don't know what's in the okra. Is that tan? That's all right. That's all right. That's not like soup. I eat it. Okay. If, when you eat that, just make sure you have enough on a protein. Okay. Don't forget that. Some of them are really It's probably doesn't have a whole lot of protein in the okra and tomatoes. And remember, it's not about fucking your blood sugar. And that in the smokes. And that protein is going to help that. Now, okra and tomatoes, they're all S or E. The tomatoes got to be a little bit more careful. Okra is okay. But I don't know what's in that can. Yeah, it could be added in there. I'm bringing one of those to look at it. Yeah, bring it. Anything y'all want me to look at, because Melissa and I, we can definitely, you know, look at it and tell you what it is. But y'all going to learn it too. Y'all yeah. going to be able to look at it and learn it for yourself. Easy peasy. Once y'all get it, y'all got it. So, uh, okra helps to prevent osteoporosis. It slows down the growth of breast cancer. It fights anemia. It lowers serum cholesterol level. It helps to battle heart disease and arteriosclerosis as well. It helps to soothe the irritable bowel. It helps with ulcers, release constipation. Now, I want to tell y'all this about this okra. It's so good. It's a prebiotic. Um, it's good for your gut. It aids in weight loss and helps to curb your appetite. It protects and nourishes pregnancies through natural high levels of folate in it. And believe me, I know about folate, how important folate is for a pregnancy. Because if you don't have enough folate, you're going to have a baby with um, abnormalities. It helps with fatigue. So, yeah, oh, it's a superfood. Right, next, we have fermented food. Such as sauerkraut, kefir, and Greek yogurt. I've never tried kefir, so I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. But these fermented foods can actually heal overgrowth yeast that years of sugar consumption may have caused. These cultured foods provide natural antibiotic and anti carcinogenic effects to the body. Because these foods contain living enzymes, they must be refrigerated. So, y'all like sauerkraut? I do like sauerkraut on my hot dog. If I don't eat a hot dog with a bun anymore, so I have to put it on the side. But now they got the hot dog buns that are low carb too. Black seed is next. It is full of fiber. It has the ability to help lower harmful cholesterol. It's rich in omega-3 fatty acids, and it helps to fight inflammation in your body. That's black seed. Apple cider vinegar is next, and it's the major flavor in our good girl moonshine. The cinnamon are at the bottom, so you got to shake up the bottle. And it contains many vitamins and minerals. It also helps relate to blood sugar and your blood pressure. It helps with digestion. It helps in weight loss. And there's many more benefits to so it. Just look on page 139. Isn't it? Do you have to drink the apple cider vinegar? Do you just like Walmart's got those little apple cider vinegar pills? Are those the same? I've never done that. What do you think, Melissa? They, they, they want you to do the liquid so it can actually absorb and get in the bloodstream. Without all the additives that are in the pills, the gel, okay. all the extra stuff that they Stupid put in the fridge. I cannot stand.
understand the smell or the taste of apple cider vinegar. So can I add anything to it? You need that one in water and make it. Maybe try it in tea. When you put it in the when you put it in the good girl moonshine, you can add different flavors or extracts to flavor okay. that. And they they recommend there's there's a lot of questions about that on like the Facebook pages and stuff. So they'll recommend the, the extracts that are really good at getting rid of the the smell and the bite. Okay. But it, it's yeah. only like a tablespoon for a quart. No, I, I completely understand what you're talking about there. It it took me a long time to get used to it. It is. But then after I had COVID, I had acid reflux, so I can't do apple cider vinegar anymore because of the acid reflux. See, I have acid reflux. As vinegar is the worst thing for acid reflux. That's why you can't stand it because your body says, not good for you, don't want it. Yeah, it neutralizes your your stomach. Yeah. If you need yes. acid reflux unattended, uh, you can actually develop ulcers and throat cancer yeah. from acid reflux. Yeah. But that's, that's part of why your disdain for it is so strong because your body's saying, don't do this, yeah. we don't need this. But if you only need a half, if you don't handle a half a table, do that, that's better than nothing. Yeah. 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 Just because it does have its benefits. Still it does. Does. So, yeah. All right, number 15, your question here on the quiz. Which affordable superfood took the world by storm? What was that one? Okra. Okra. That's right. Okay, if any of these the affordable do y'all have them on hand? Uh, I do the flaxseed. The flaxseed, that's good. Yeah. Well, not uh, very sure. But y'all, I know I've been eating green vegetable. Y'all have that on hand. Y'all have berries on hand. So there's a few that we just introduce you to that you might want to give them a try. But they're super affordable. You can get them at Walmart. Flaxseed, I think, is under three or four bucks probably. Yeah. It's not that much. And it's you buy it. Yeah. yeah. It goes a long way. And the uh, apple cider vinegar is really good if you can, you know, one onion for and incorporate it. Is there a difference between like the organic ones and the like flower seed and stuff? Yeah, you want to make sure it's said with mother. The one that says with mother, that's set up at the bottom. She's talking, she's talking vinegar or uh, flax seeds, organic versus regular. Oh, or flax seeds? Yeah. I, I probably try to go with the organic if you can. Because it's just been processed and less chemicals. <laughs> I don't want to go into walls all it can be processed in. Y'all just don't want to never got rid of all that. Uh, to, if you can find organic, it's probably better. It'll cost you a little bit more. And it shouldn't be healthy, it should cost it more, but you probably will go up a little bit trying to be healthier. But it can happen. We can't eat on a budget. Okay, so we're just about finished now. Turn to chapter 18. This is our last chapter. These are the specialty foods. They are gelatin, just gelatin, integral collagen, whey protein, glucose, coconut oil, red palm oil, MCT oil, spices such as turmeric, cinnamon, and ginger, your woolong tea, your high mineral salt, which I get on the pink and the salt. That's what I use. And then the sunflower lectin. Okay, that's another thing. Things I did not use, okay? But some of mine do. Number 16 is, are special, special foods awesome? Yes. Do you need them? No. Okay, so when I started in 2015, I bought just the basic stuff. Sweeteners, the bacon blends, the flour, you know, the coconut flour, the almond flour, collagen, protein powder, and a few other products. I got all that. Turn out the mom has a whole line. So just go on their side, Fun and looking through all they got. They got facial lineup, they got exercise lineup. So go and check and see. They got coffees and teas and flavorings and stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun to go and look and see what they do have. They got little, nice little cookies too. But don't feel like you gotta buy their products, okay? You're not. You can go to Walmart and get them. And you can be successful on a budget. Absolutely, you can be. You will uh, keep some of these staples in my cabinet. I do. I have a special drawer actually for almost two pounds of all my stuff. And I fit it into my budget. I know it's a little bit more, but I feel like I'm working. So I, I make sure I fit it into my budget. Because I want carrot cake, I want coconut cake. And I tell you what, these coconut, the, the food that you make today, it usually tastes better the second day around. It really, really does. It has time to set and to 
uh, the taste to come together. Uh, I love to keep Mission tortillas on plan for wrap. I love chocolate chip, the sugar free chocolate chip, and make chocolate chip muffins. So y'all can see, I keep these things on hand because I would like it. Um, I also want to live a long and healthy life without any health issues because I see what my parents went through with cancer, heart disease, blood pressure. So I do not want to put my children through that. So that's the reason why I do this for me and for them. For my husband as well. Collagen is wonderful for joint pain and arthritis. I'll never forget in 2015, I fell. And I tore my arm. I remember when I fell, I felt the go up my arm. I didn't break anything. But I hurt, and I hurt, and I hurt for the moment. And I had saw on some healthy mama where a lady told me she was taking collagen. Well, I started taking it, and I got the great legs. I wanted the great legs. And it took a little while, but it finally went away. That shoulder pain went away. And it wasn't anything else that I was doing. I thought I was like collagen. It's really good for joint pain, and I can attest to it. Whey protein powder works to support uh, muscle growth and recovery from exercising, tissue healing, immune function, and digestive health. It's also used in some recipes because it's your protein source. Creatine. Huh? Creatine puts the, um, it, it helps the muscles. Mm -hmm. uh, muscle it puts the water back in the end, and it So you don't have it is not to have on hand, but for some of your recipes will call for a little bit of protein powder. Uh, then we got Luki, it's a form of a, the cognac root from Asia. It's calorie free, low carb. It's a it's your thing. So it's not to have this on hand. If you don't have that Luki, you can go to Walmart and get that one. That's a thickener as well. Coconut oil, you know how good it is. It's trimming, it raises your body temperature, it's good with energy. It's also good for your skin. Um, I told you about taking one tablespoon. Red palm oil is a ruby red cousin to the coconut oil. And it's a tropical oil. So I don't think you're gonna put it in eggs. Yeah. So you gotta put that with a lot of cooking in. Because it is an Asian flavor and a Mediterranean flavor. It's proven to reverse heart disease and fight cancer. Yeah, it's not great on salads and eggs. That's what I wrote there. <laughs> it's pretty good with quinoa. With what? Quinoa. Oh, it adds a nice flavor to quinoa. Oh, does it? Okay. The quinoa is that grain I was talking about last week. So, y'all can try it at that. 17. Does coconut oil contain medium chain or long chain triglyceride? It contains medium chain because it goes through your system faster. So, it is uh, medium chain. MCT oil stands for medium chain triglycerides. And I told you that coconut oil is 65 percent MCTs, but MCT oil is 100 percent because it is uh, extracted from the coconut and the uh, palm oil, the red palm oil. It uh, converts into instant energy, like a car, but without the influence body. Okay? It decreases body fat as well, at least. And these are just a few of the benefits. Go to page 151 for all the benefits of MCT oil. 151. Turmeric increases healthy fat loss, decreases insulin issues, and regulates the body metabolism. Uh, and then cinnamon is great for regulating uh, blood sugar as well. It only has a scant amount of cinnamon. And I add that to my coffee in the mornings as well. Okay, we've got ginger. It's another plant that goes in the Good Girl Moonshine. It's also thermogenic. It's great for metabolism. It helps to calm your stomach. We've all taken ginger probably when we were pregnant and it was carrying our children. It helps uh, unclog sinuses and clear those nodes, the nasal congestion. So, ginger. The Wulong tea is the tea in this right here, the shrinker. Y'all need to try that tonight. This tea is found in the shrinker. It shrinks your fat cell. One cup of Wulong tea has to burn 67 calories. Where can you buy this? I got it at Big Lost, but you get it on Amazon. I've not seen it at Walmart, though. Not that I've noticed. It's been reported people who drink two cups of Wulong tea burn more than 157% of their body fat than those who drink a small amount of green tea. So Wulong tea is a little bit better. It will keep you 
up if you drink it late in the afternoon. <laughs> you'll be energized with anything clean in the house, <coughs> yard. Yeah, you'll be. I think I told you that for the high mineral salt, I use the pink Himalayan salt. And the sunflower lectin, what is lectin? And it's found in certain food and it's found in our body. Your brain is made of a 30% lectin. That is number 18. 30%. When you supplement with lectin, you nourish your brain. It has been shown to relieve memory impairment, to help with dementia, early signs of Alzheimer's. Go to 158 through 160 to find out more about some of our lectin. It is a wonderful specialty food. So our brain is made of 30% lectin. 